Climate change is being studied in many different ways, but a woman from Worcester is doing something very different. She's using her passion and skills as an artist to help better understand how our world is being reshaped. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff has the story in tonight's Eye on Earth. With every stroke of her brush, moments are captured before they literally melt away. A Caravaggio of climate change, a Da Vinci of data art. Jill Pelto is a glacier scientist and accomplished painter, blending two different passions into a masterpiece of a career. I think that's a lot of the power that art has is, is those connections with um, storytelling and emotion. Where she draws her inspiration, a fellow scientist, her father. My dad is a glaciologist, and so the research project that I'm out here to do in Washington is his project that he started when he was a PhD student. For 13 years, this Worcester native has traveled to Washington State for research. Summer 2021, well, that was a bit different than previous trips. It was really impactful for me uh, emotionally to see the changes to those landscapes that I know and have grown to care for. And also just to see, you know, more powerfully like climate change firsthand, to see forest fire smoke, to see kind of the reservoirs and streams being low and the water warm. One of her almost two dozen data art pieces was featured last year on the cover of Time magazine. I think that you've um, created something that, you know, speaks and communicates to people. I think that's really amazing. And it's always so hard to know, um, to know that. Pelto's pieces are very unique. I wanted to use graphs because I think that they tell a really good story of change over time. And her titles, straightforward. A painting I made in 2018 called Gulf of Maine Temperature Variability. A lot of my names are very literal. Her works aren't of dreams or of nightmares. Rather, they are of our own shared reality. Like remembering that no matter what, a lot of these landscapes will still um, be here and still be beautiful. They'll be like, they'll be changing just drastically throughout, you know, my lifetime and beyond. And just recognizing that rather than trying to, I think, deny it helps me a little bit. Pelto's works will be featured in an upcoming exhibit at the Peabody Essex Museum in February 2022. For a link to more of her works, visit our website, cbsboston.com. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.